Hello friends, welcome once again in the video and today we will see the trick and demonic of anti-angiolate drugs, the drugs which are also termed as drugs for treatment of coronary artery disease. Coronary artery it is the artery which supplies blood to the heart. So whenever there is increased work on the heart or whenever there is load of the heart is increased, ultimately it has to be supplied by a coronary artery only. And if in case the coronary artery is blocked, the heart itself will not be able to work. This is the peculiar thing regarding angina. What happens in angina? There is a pain in the left part of the body. So in this video, we will first see what is the cause behind angina. We will see the two types of angina and the drugs, how they work to treat this. After that, we will see the mnemonic or the trick to remember the drugs which are used for treatment of angina pectoris or coronary artery disease. Now, what is angina pectoris? It is a pain syndrome. It is due to adverse demand and supply of oxygen. Now, why there is adverse demand and supply of oxygen? Why it has occurred? See, whenever there is need of increased energy by the cells, when there is increased need, when the person plays, when the person do exercise, or whenever some heavy work is there. So in order to meet the energy requirement, the load goes on the heart. Why? Because heart has to supply more blood. If more blood is there, more oxygen will come, more energy will be produced. So whenever exercise is there, the load is on heart. But due to blockage of coronary artery, the heart itself cannot pump the blood and there is adverse demand and supply of oxygen. So this is the cause. Now we will see the types of angina pectoris. Two types, classical, which is also called as common, means it occurs during exercise. Classical angina, common angina, which occurs during exercise and there is increased cardiac work. Therefore, there is increased oxygen demand. So what do you have to do to treat this? My dear, please decrease the demand. How? Drugs which decrease the demand, they decrease the cardiac work. They decrease the preload and they decrease the afterload. Sir, what is preload and afterload? We will cover this in the coming video. So far, please remember the drugs which are used for treatment of type 1 angina, classical or common angina, they decrease the cardiac work, they decrease preload and they decrease afterload. Now, what is the reason behind common angina? To understand this, see this diagram. If we talk about the normal individual, this is the, these are the blood vessels, diameter of blood vessel. The person, he is on rest, but whenever there is increased demand of energy or whenever the person does exercise, the blood vessel dilates and the demand is fulfilled. But as the age progresses, we know the things go on changing and changes are observed in the body. So in common angina, the lipid starts depositing that is called arteriosclerosis and there is formation of atheroma. There is formation of atheroma due to which there is coronary obstruction. So whenever there is need of more blood supply, the part, there is no supply, even the need is there. Therefore, this type of problem arises. Now we will talk about the second type of angina that is uncommon angina that is also called variant or prince metal angina. It occurs immediately, instantaneously at any time. Why? Because there is vasospasm. The person who is sitting even on the chair, automatically there is vasospasm. This is the normal blood vessel. It constricts, there is decrease in the diameter. So, in uncommon angina, there is vasospasm and there is decreased blood flow. Therefore, the drugs which are used, they relieve the vasospasm and they give relief in uncommon angina. So, these are two types of angina. Now, we will see the drugs which are used to treat. How to remember the drugs to treat 
coronary artery disease. Now to learn that trick, to understand that trick, consider this as a pot. A pot which is full of dirt. It is dirt, dirt only because of that only this problem is occurring. So what you have to do is to treat this, open this pot at night and remove this dirt and in order to prevent the recurrence you block this spot so that further this dirt cannot enter one again i am saying once again i am repeating open the pot at night remove the dirt and block by cable so this is the classification let us see open pot open means opener Pot means potassium. So open pot means potassium channel openers. You have to open at night. Night means nitrates, glycerol trinitrate, erythyl tetranitrate, like that. Remove dirt. D I R T. This is dirt. You are removing this dirt only. So D for diapridemol, I evabradin, R ranolazin, T trimetazidin. You have opened the pot at night and removed the dirt, but you have to block also. Block by cable. Block means you have to use blockers. B, beta blockers. So, beta blockers. Now, the name of beta blockers propranolol, etinolol, metoprolol. Cable, cable CA. CA stands for calcium means you have to again calcium channel blockers use ccb verapamil diltiazem amlodipine nifedipine and imodipine so this is very simple to remember in the entire classes of drugs so this is how we'll keep on making the things easy please don't forget to subscribe the channel and in the next video we'll be discussing the pharmacology of nitrates in the detail mechanism of action and contraindication and other things and for that don't forget to press the bell icon so as soon as the video is released you will get the prior notification thank you best of luck